Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome back to another Chelsea News video. This is the series where I talk about the latest talking points regarding Chelsea Football Club, tell it to you guys and express my own thoughts and opinions. But as per usual, I'd like to request that you do subscribe to my channel. So please do click subscribe and when you do that, click the bell notification icon as well if you have been enjoying my content. That would mean a lot. All right then, the first talking point of today's video is young Welsh lad Ethan Ampadu, Chelsea star. One of my favourite young Chelsea players. And if you have not seen the video I've done on Ethan Ampadu and why I think he can become world class, that I did like a week ago or so, you should check that out after this video. I'll maybe put it in the card above, the information card thing, but maybe I won't. <laughs> It's dependent on whether I remember. Anyway, the point being, I really rate Ampadu incredibly highly. I think he's an excellent player. And I've also been speaking lately how I think he should go on loan because we've got loads of midfielders at the club. Um, he probably can't displace someone like Jorginho or Kante, yet he's very, very good. And I said he deserves a Premier League loan, maybe lower mid-table, to just start game in, game out, which he's good enough to do at the young old age of 18. Anyway, in a recent press conference, Frank Lampard confirmed that Ampadu will be going on loan. That's why he wasn't with the squad. So that sounded good. Everyone was like, awesome, Premier League loan, hopefully not a championship loan, because he's better than that. He deserves top tier, but it was good news. Frank said I wanted to work with him but I understand alone is important. I agree. So Ethan Ampadu has actually been spotted and photographed at Leipzig in Germany. Now it looks like he'll do as medical and have a one year loan over there. Now I'll tell you what, this is a superb loan deal and I'll tell you why. Although RB Leipzig are not the most liked team in Germany, which you know it doesn't really matter at all because it just doesn't matter in this instance, they are a really really good team that have been playing youngsters for the last few years, they play a really exciting brand of football and they just have a really modern approach to football. Superb! And also now they are coached by Julian Nagelsmann, who is an incredibly young uh, modern coach as well. He's 31 years old, man. The guy's one year older than me. And I'm just here making YouTube videos. I'm joking, I love making YouTube videos. <laughs> but at the age of 31, he's already got a few years top flight experience in Germany as a coach. So that's superb for Julian Nagelsmann. He's a really exciting young coach. I think Bayern Munich were looking at him. Anyway, point being, he's a great coach who likes to use young lads and it's a good club who likes to use young lads. So it's perfect for Ethan Ampadu to go and be coached by a young and exciting coach, essentially. And of course, playing for Leipzig leaves him in a incredibly competitive environment. The Bundesliga is a great league and Leipzig are one of the top teams in the Bundesliga. So it just gets better and better for me. And you know, above all else, He's going to another country to expand his horizons, gain more knowledge about footballing culture, and just better experience in different styles and stuff. It will enrich himself as a footballer so much, and by the time he comes back in a year, he, he could absolutely be a starter for Chelsea Football Club. Superb loan. Personally, I couldn't be happier. What do you guys think? Let me know. Right, next section in the video, I want to talk about Lampard's own words on a few Chelsea players. First up, the young American, new Chelsea signing, Christian Pulisic slash Pulisic, whichever way you want to say it. Lampard had this to say about Christian after Chelsea's recent 1-0 loss to Frontale. And I'm going to read this and I quote, He's been here a couple of days in terms of training. We've been really impressed. He's comfortable on the ball and I think he should have had a penalty towards the end of that game. He wants to try and take people on. The sort of player the fans are going to like, so we have to give him a little bit of time to adapt slightly. But the way he's trained, the way he has come in with such personality looks great and we're really pleased to have him. Great to hear from the coach Frank Lampard. It does look like he's excited in terms of the style of Pulisic's play, but we all kind of knew Christian Pulisic has got a great professional application and you know he's, he's a dedicated player, so the coach was always going to like him. He's very talented. It's good to hear from the gaffer and exciting things to come. All right, Mason Mount. So basically, just a quick one on Mason. Frank's confirmed how he will stay with Chelsea next season and be part of the squad. Shock horror. Uh, this is unsurprising for a couple of reasons. One, because we know Frank Lampard absolutely loves Mason Mount. And the second being he's just penned a new five-year deal. I know you can make the argument of Chelsea players often pen new deals before they go on loan. Re-Ethan Ampadu. 
but it, you know it just looks like he's been really good in pre-season and Frank really does fancy him to probably even start in most of his first team 11s in the Premier League which is a big shout because personally I thought Mount should go on a Premier League loan maybe lower table We'll have a midfield of Ruben, Jorginho, Kante, Kovacic, da 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 da. But it looks like Frank really does fancy Mount. And to be honest, the more I watch him in this Chelsea side, the more confident I feel. So good news, Mason Mount's awesome. Next up, Kazuma. Kurt is going to stay with Chelsea Football Club because Frank Lampard really likes him. <laughs> now, if you've watched my video on Frank's low knee recalls, I talk about Kurt Zuma and how I think he should come back to the club as he's an excellent defender. Even though he wasn't great last time out in that preseason game, he's a very, very good centre back, Kurt Zuma. And Frank Lampard had this to say about him, and again, I quote, In terms of Kurzuma, he's a very good defender for us, very good player, very good person and professional. I want him here. Simple as that. We are competitive with the centre-backs we have in the team, and here he had a very good season at Everton, and I can understand why they want him. He's a Chelsea player, and I want him. Great to hear. Lamps wants Kurt Zuma, and why wouldn't he? He's a superb centre back with a great attitude and a great personality. So I'm very pleased he's staying with the squad. What do you think? Comment down below your thoughts on Kurt Zuma staying with Chelsea. And finally, I wanted to end this video talking about Frank Lampard's formations at Chelsea. Now, since arriving at the club and doing three preseason games now, we've seen him do all kinds of different formations and tactical approaches and shape changes. Now, this is a good thing. He's showing adaptability and pragmatism while still wanting to be direct and attack. That's really all you can ask for from your new young coach, which is great. But I have a couple of concerns. Now it's pre-season, you can't read into it too much, and I'm pleased he's trying different things, but the, the formation and the approach that seemed the most dominating and most uh, and the most functional for this set of players so far is the uh, 442 diamond with the diamond midfield. Now that for me, I did a video on Frank Lampard's formations before the game when he used the diamond. I said he could use it, he used it, it worked incredibly well. And I've done a couple of match reviews on both games since. Now he didn't use the diamond last match and Chelsea didn't look as dominating or as comfortable in possession as they did with the diamond. Now it's an interesting talking point right? Because for me, I've said it before on this channel and I'll say it again, I believe football matches are won and lost in the midfield and when you play a midfield diamond with the personnel Chelsea have it seems like an incredibly smart option right because it accommodates so much of Chelsea's good midfield talent and Chelsea have a lot a lot of good midfield talent don't know why I couldn't say that anyway they do but my concern is there's two concerns one being that I'm not sure how good the diamond will translate to the Premier League, if its application will work in top flight English football like that, and if maybe teams will find a way around or... Because for me, playing a diamond is usually like an interesting tactical counter to something a bit different, rather than having it as your default formation. So there's that concern. And also for me as well, wingers lose out because obviously you don't play wingers in that system. Like, like I've previously said before, I wouldn't personally cry too much for Willian and Pedro, but you know, you look at the likes of Pulisic and hudson Adoy, it may frustrate. Now, in a diamond, you could say, well, Pulisic's played number 10 and deeper, so he could be the support striker, as could Callum hudson Adoy. but that also, <laughs> but we also have three strikers. So a diamond's good because it plays a two-striker system, two out of the three strikers makes sense, keeps all three strikers happy. But it's just, although it's really good to keep the, the midfield happy, this diamond, um, these wide forwards and the strikers, I'm not sure how it's going to work, and I'm not sure how it's going to work in the Premier League. So that's me voicing my concerns about his formation issues. The 4 2 3 1, which seems like the more, most sensible formation for Frank to use in the Premier League in terms of his players and getting the majority of the squad happy, and you know, a conventional formation that should work in the Premier League. The 4 2 3 1 hasn't really worked that well so far. So. That's a little bit concerning, but you know what, I think when N'Golo Kanto returns, when Ruben Loftus-Cheek is fit again, and when Callum hudson Adoy returns, just that amount of quality should bolster the other formations like the 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3. Suddenly we'll probably start scoring goals or the formation just looks more functional. 
Anyway, what do you think? Do you think the diamonds are the best for Chelsea? Were you really impressed when we were completely dominating in that first half when Frank played it? Do you see another formation working? Let me know in the comments below. And you know what? Like this video, please, because that would help me out a lot. I'm really pleased with how the channel is growing. I'm pushing, I think, 8,000 subscribers, which is superb. So hit the subscribe button. You know what? If you know some other Chelsea fans or even just football fans that might enjoy my channel, why don't you tell them? And you know what? As well, I'd like to plug my Patreon. Thank you to, like, the... I think there's like 22 of you that have donated to my Patreon, it's $1 a month. Um, I'll message every single one of you, it really means a lot, it's a very little amount of money obviously, $1 a month, but it supports my channel and keeps me going and um, I'm going to look for more exclusive incentives to become a patron of my channel, like private live streams where I just talk to you guys about football. So check it out, the link's in the, the description. Uh, yeah become a patron to my patreon and also why not follow me on instagram i've got a new instagram no one follows me follow me on instagram at football yannick uh, i think that's probably it i hope you enjoyed this video guys let me know again in the comments enjoy the football i'll see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chuck in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby.